Hey guys, today we are making low carb beefy vegetable soup in our slow cooker. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. It looks really beefy and really chunky right now. Kind of like me. <laughs> from Recipes That Crock. And I am Mikey from Recipes That Crock. And today we are back in our kitchen at our home and we are using some of our slow cookers that we haven't got to use in a really long We've time. We've missed you guys so much. <laughs> so we're getting to know everybody again. And so what I thought I would do is whip up a batch of a recipe I have been kind of testing and making while we were on the road a low carb beefy vegetable soup it's got all kinds of yummy veggies in it and yummy beef and it comes in very convenient because i'm also testing some make ahead um ground beef recipes for our electric pressure cooker so i have lots of ground beef already browned up which is i have two pounds of it right now in this slow cooker if you would like to show them sure look <laughs> If you're wondering, where's the beef? There's the beef. I should okay. probably look at this. If you're going to be the doing. camera guy, we probably should switch. Switchies. <laughs> okay. So this is a super simple recipe. What we are going to do is we have, like I said, we have two pounds of our Make Ahead ground beef. We have a crock pot version of that. This uh, version that I'm testing and we'll be sharing with you coming soon. It's going to be a, a little while, but coming soon is a low carb version that goes in your electric pressure cooker super handy but to that we are going to add two cups of beef broth mm. and there's your soup a jar of 24 to 25 ounces of lower carb uh, marinara sauce so you all know that for a long time we cooked uh, with rayos we still have some rayos in our cabinet but one of the downfalls that we had at least is we could never find it at what we would consider a reasonable price. It was kind of expensive. It is expensive. But um, a crock classy member told us about this brand, Mazetta. And so we started finding this in the grocery store. And it's about half the price um, most of the time of what we were paying for Rayo. So we're and very happy. it still tastes good because we're not going to eat yes, something that tastes good. It still tastes good yeah. and it has a low carb count. So that's just something it's all it all of your carb counts will always depend on what products you use and what you have available at your grocery store so anyhow we're going to pour this jar in there i probably should have saved some of my uh beef broth to empty out my jar but oh, most I won't of it tell if you use a yeah, little water most of it actually came out yeah it did, it did a really good job so good job Ms. yes so I'm gonna let you stir that. Can you stir and be the cameraman at the same time? I'm a multitasker. We, we will see. You would think I'd go ahead and get my other rig set up, but we're we're still unpacking from the trip and we don't have everything set up yet. You guys. But we can't go without showing you guys good yes. food. So. so we're gonna dump in uh, two tablespoons of dried minced garlic. Freeze dried is what we prefer. Mm -hmm. And then Mikey chopped up all my veggies for me and put them in this bowl. So I will tell you what this involves. This is one medium-sized zucchini chopped, one yellow squash chopped, a fourth of a cup of white onion chopped, four ribs of celery chopped, a cup of radishes chopped, and two cups of cabbage, or you could use kale if you wanted to. Um, not Chopped. a big kale fan, um, sorry. You do. You like kale in um, Zupa Toscana. I tolerate it because you put sausage in uh, it. <laughs> well, okay, so here's the thing. We have cabbage today. If you're using kale, you want to save the kale until the end. If you're using cabbage, you're going to put the cabbage in when you put the rest of your veggies in. So all these veggies are going to go in our six-quart slow cooker. And splattered all Moses. over my apron. Holy moly. Okay, so you guys see all the pretty veggies and everything? Good, because I gotta put the camera down now because I gotta use both <laughs> hands for this. He's gotta stir it up. Wow, that's, that's and really that, gonna fill that up. This is gonna make a lot of soup, which yeah. I love uh, slow cooked vegetable soup. It's just so yummy. What I'm looking forward to, honestly, in this is how what the radishes do. Mm -hmm. I've never really had soup with, I mean, I've had radishes like. So um, are you telling me you didn't have our beefy vegetable soup when I've been making it on the road? Did you put Since, radishes in it? Uh-huh. 
You didn't tell me that. I yeah. liked them. I just, hey, they're really well, good. Well, we all have to be real, real honest here. Sometimes Mikey would skip dinner for card confessions. Hey, <laughs> I was going out on the road and playing yes. lots of places, and it yes. was like, you know, sometimes I was playing places upwards to an hour to two hours away from camp, mm -hmm. and I just couldn't wait. Yep. But I tell you what, this is going to taste better than okay. a road hot dog anywhere. So, we're going to put a lid on this. It looks really beefy and really chunky right now. Kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> Those vegetables are going to cook down. Yes. And so we're going to put this. And the liquid's going to come out of them. So that's, is that, you don't put any water or anything with that? That's uh, all? No, because we already have our. Uh, broth. We have broth in there and we also already have our, um, what do you call it? Our marinara. So if we let wow. that cook, it should cook those vegetables down. Um, and that's going to produce a lot of liquid because a lot of those vegetables that we use in this um, recipe have a lot of water in it. So it's going to cook a lot of those ve that vegetable water, for lack of a better term, um, down into the soup. And so what that's we're going to do? Let's not call it vegetable water, though. That just uh, oh, it could be the latest thing. You never know. Oh, try vegetable water. <laughs> it's low carb. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to cook this on high for about four hours to let all that cook down together. And or cook you together. could do low for what, six low to eight. Low for six to eight. Yep. And so we'll see you back here in three, two, one. And we are back. Um, as you might notice, Mikey is missing. And that is because we had an incident with our truck that got stuck in the marshy thing that is called our yard out there and so he's working with our nephew to get our truck out of the mud and so Addie's here with me instead and so that we can show you what the end result of the soup is and everything is fine the truck is fine we're all fine so um, anyhow we're gonna try this soup so Addie do you want to do a close-up of the soup yes. this has cooked for five four to five hours on high a lot's been going on around here but as you can see all those veggies cook down and produce tons of liquid and what I'm gonna do before I go too far is I'm gonna do okay <laughs> you can you can stop now we're, I'm going to do a little taste test to check for salt, and I haven't added any pepper, so we're going to definitely add some pepper, and we may add a little bit of salt after I taste this, because I didn't want to put um, a lot of salt in there to begin with, because I had salt in my tomatoes, and I also had salt in that beef, that beef broth and in my beef already, so we need to taste it to see if it needs a little salt. And it does. So we're going to add some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to salt this because it had tons of vegetables in there. How much do you need? Um, you just go for it. And we're going to just pepper it. And then we're going to stir it. My goodness. Keep it in the bowl. All right. Oh, little Mike, huh? <laughs> okay. So, I am going to have Addie do a little taste test. Oh. Addie likes that. It is super hot, baby girl, so just be real, real careful. Can I add some cheese? Yes, we've, we've got shredded cheese out here so we can add a little bit of cheese to our veggie soup. Yes, yes. So, gonna let that go and Give it a little blow before you um, give it a taste, and I want you to tell me what you think. <laughs> she's she's really getting into this. You're all leaned into it. Still hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Are you burning the whole entire? part of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Could you still face the camera? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you good? It's really good. It's really, that's really good. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's really hot. It is super, super hot, so we do need to let it cool off, but it does. It has that yummy veggie tip flavor to it. That beef um, is great in it. And you've got that squash, the tomatoes in there. Um, I'm trying to find a little radish. Oh, there it is. I'm going to try a radish to tell you how. 
There's radishes in it. Did you not know? No, that? you said red it. Oh. <laughs> no. Um. Truck's unstuck. <laughs> Yay! I need a shower. <laughs> You never know what's gonna go on around here. But if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, our slow cooking family around here, we'd love for you to click subscribe and join us here. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the bell, what do we call it, Addy? Ding-a-ling. And um, whatever you do, we hope you laugh often. <laughs> eat good food. Big Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Look at me. I have double shoulders. <laughs> you are tickling my neck with your beard. Stop it. Okay. Ready? Three. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon. And we